Hi, I'm Pere Monclus. I'm the CTO at, in the Network and Security Business Unit. And what I do essentially is drive some of the forward-looking directions and the industry transitions that are happening in networking and security and bringing those concepts uh, inside the business unit and inside the products that we deliver to our customers. Uh, before, we treated networking as one element of IT, networking, compute, and storage. And somehow the transformation that has happened recently is this notion that everything is blending. Infrastructure is becoming one and only thing that has to be fully automated, fully configured by frameworks that are going to like respond to the applications, to the transformations of business, and networking cannot be seen anymore as an individual component. We had to transition from uh, humans configuring through command line interfaces to APIs and templates of what we expect from the network to provide to the application. Fundamental transformation is this, is networking has moved from being a hardware concept into becoming the glue that puts everything together. But it's not about making networking visible and difficult to configure and difficult to secure, but rather than blending it with the applications in a way that it becomes part of this transformation that is happening in the enterprises. So what has happened over the last three, four years is that different segments started to appear. There's a very clear understanding of what's the use of network virtualization in data centers and cloud. Then there's a very clear use uh, case of understanding what's the value that you can bring in SD1 environments. There's a very clear use case of what happens when you have to blend multiple clouds. So our customers, what they're telling us is that we are helping them in multiple dimensions. The first one uh, is uh, how do we bring all the cloud concepts of like blending compute storage and networking into an infrastructure as a service abstraction? And how do we bring this to their private clouds? Where we've uh, expanded our ability to understand our customer needs and to try to provide value way beyond just the, the common abstractions that we've been doing and uh, reach to the application in a way that we, we become much more valuable in terms of security, automation, visibility than ever before. So what we are seeing right now with, with this mindset is that network virtualization, micro-segmentation is becoming pervasive, is becoming kind of a, the blueprint of any new data center that you may, you may create. There's many ways to start with network virtualization. I mean, first is understanding why do you want to virtualize your network. It's not just because it's the latest and greatest technology that you should use. It's understanding what does your application need. And what you will see is that essentially the tools and the capabilities that the network virtualization layer and the micro-segmentation capabilities give you allows you to solve problems that before were extremely hard in a very simple and automated way. So I would say that uh, over the next few years, what we will see is that there's going to be this reinvention of use cases with a better technology, better tool, network virtualization, that allows to solve problems in a much simplistic way, and then bring additional capabilities like understanding what's going on in your environment, knowing how to troubleshoot it, uh, securing it in a more fundamental way. The future of network virtualization is understanding what kind of new capabilities and new simplicity can it bring to your environments, and start to find these uh, segments or use cases or markets that, uh, that can extract the value out of that.